Okay, my friends, welcome back. Today we are going to take a quick look at a stock that is down 40%. That's right, a dividend stock down 40% in the last year. So let me know in the comments below if this is the sort of stock that you are interested in, a stock that is already on the down, a stock that then has a slightly higher dividend yield. Is this a good fit with your investing style? Let me know and we can always cover more stocks like this today. So look, hey, this is a stock that I think you're going to be interested in. We're going to stay tuned please uh, and we're going to look at some of the opportunities here as well as some of the risks nearer to the end of the video. So the stock we're looking at today is Global Medical REIT, GMRE. Uh, so this is a company that is focused on the, the long-term acquisition of these healthcare related uh, facilities, so they're quite specialised facilities, um, and they're quite sticky as well, which makes it difficult for the tenants to, to shift out and move. Um, and, and so I think there's a lot of opportunity here. Now it's similar to uh, MPW, Medical Properties Trust, it's in the same type of sector, um, and it's got the same sort of exposure to the same tailwinds and we're going to look at some of those risks and challenges later as well. Right now this is what I'm talking about. I am over in Fast Graphs looking at the historical performance of this company. So look over the last year pretty much um, one year it's gone down uh, 42% so we're talking about quite a substantial uh, decline here. It has tanked. Now the benefit to us as a dividend investors is it's also translated into a dividend yield now of just about 9% and one of the big questions of course that we should ask is is this a good time to buy? Is this a a good time to get into GMRE and what are the prospects moving forward. One of the things that I really love about Fast Graphs is this handy forecasting calculator. Now this is just a calculator, it doesn't give us answers, but it allows us to, to judge what may or may not happen and what the likely outcomes could be. So here we're looking at GMRE, we're looking at the current prices here today, and we're looking at what might happen by the end of 2024. Now if the analysts have the uh, a reasonable AFFO, adjusted funds from operation, um, if they've got a reasonable estimate for that and prices return to the same sort of uh, 15 times price to AFFO ratio, which is kind of like the price to earnings ratio for other industrial stocks, uh, except this is more appropriate for a, uh, a REIT, a real estate investment trust like GMRE. If this price uh, multiple returns to this point of 15 times, we're talking about a total rate of return of 86% or about 36% per year. So that requires two things, it requires prices to renormalize, and it also requires these analysts to have an accurate estimate. Now as we can see here at the bottom in this panel here, we can see the analyst estimates have actually been going down a little bit over the last uh, six months, um, and so there is that hint of weakness there and concern about the future future. But we can also begin to turn this over to the Fast Graphs um, analyst scorecard to sort of get a sense of how these analysts are doing. Now this is a relatively uh, new company, it's relatively small, it's a small cap, so we do need to be careful and it's not being followed by a large number of analysts. So we can see the number of analysts following it up here. So we're up to about sort of six or seven analysts now. Um, and the analysts are looking forward two years, they've done a reasonable job. Um, most of the time they're hitting it with a um, the 20% margin for error. They're getting the, the expected uh, adjusted funds for operations right, estimated two years out with 20% margin of error, they're getting it right. So that's pretty encouraging to see. Now, what do you think? Leave me a comment in the box below. Is this the type of stock that you are interested in and do you think it was going to make a good fit with your own investment portfolio? Now, switching over to finbox.io, this gives us the opportunity to also have a, a closer look at some of these uh, targets as well. So trading at about $9.51 now, there's seven analysts following it. They've got uh, estimated um, targets from about $9, which would suggest that the stock is currently overvalued, through to about $15, suggesting about a 50% upside there. The average analyst target is about $11.50, suggesting about $2 per stock upside target. Um, using a range of different financial models here, they suggest that there's a fair value of about $11 through to $13 or an average fair value over these models of about $12.25 giving us about a 28% upside. So don't rush out, do not just go and buy this stock yet because there are some challenges. I mean we don't get a 40% price decline without some risks and you know challenges that we do need to consider for this type of company. 
Oh, so what is going on? Well, the healthcare sector, the tenants for GMRE, they are somewhat at risk. So we're talking about a sector that is obviously going to be struggling following the pandemic. We're talking about uh, bankruptcies trending 25% higher in 2022. Uh, we're talking about a lot of extra challenges for these companies, and this is coming through. Now, obviously, if GMRE's tenants are going bankrupt, it's going to have an impact on the AFFO for GMRE, and it will change and reduce the likely investment returns that we see moving forward. So 2022 was a rough year, 19 hospital closures. Um, now this is a lot of challenges, uh, declining inpatient volumes, reimbursement challenges and increased demand for outpatient care, uh, a lot of additional costs and a lot of additional operational challenges for these healthcare companies in 2022. So while the worst of the pandemic appears to be behind us, the, the challenges for the sector are, on, are definitely ongoing as we see from this headline. Uh, so it has been a financially difficult uh, year for them. Now one of the big challenges has been the labour expenses for healthcare companies and the tenants of GMRE um, expected to grow quite substantially uh, over 2022. Um, about 53% of hospitals or half of hospitals are expected to finish with negative margins related or relative to the pre-pandemic levels. Uh, all of this is suggesting that there's going to be some challenges for GMRE's tenants uh, and, and I think we're seeing that reflected in that steep decline in prices for GMRE. Labour challenges. It's going to be hard to get the right people. It's going to be hard to find the right people for the tenants for GMRE. Um, now this obviously is going to have an impact on their ability to continue to pay GMRE and stay solvent. Uh, and that's being reflected in the price declines that we're seeing in GMRE. Scrolling further down in the article, we can get a sense here of some of the labour costs and labour challenges facing GMRE's tenants. Uh, a very severe labour shortage, um, and, and one of the big impacts that this has is this issue here of the actual labour expenses per patient being 26% above what it was two years earlier. And that's a huge labour expense, and that's one of the key expenses for GMRE's tenants. Um, now, if, of course, their costs are going up, uh, it's going to make it harder for the tenants to remain solvent. It's going to make it harder for the tenants to keep on paying GMRE. And this is probably one of those key risks that you do need to think about before you jump into GMRE. So, does this have a place in your portfolio? Is this small cap rate a good pick for you for 2023? There are some benefits. There's a nice dividend yield. There's some strong upside potential. But it's also in a sector that is being impacted still by the pandemic. So let me know in the comments below whether or not this is an option for you and how well you think it might complement the rest of your holdings in your portfolio. And stay tuned for more great opportunities for 20 up soon.